Hello crafty friends and welcome to this background busting video. Today I'm going to use some of my backgrounds from my box of backgrounds and bits and these dies. Now these came I think with a sentiment set. I'm going to use them to cut lots of little rectangles or strips and just see what we can create with those. I've sorted my bits out into three groups of colour. So these are purpley violets. I've got warm, pinky, yellowy, orangey browns and some greeny blues. To start with, I will die cut some of these out of these purpley violet things and see where that takes us. So there we go. Those are our colourful rectangles. These are a bit plain. So what I'm going to do is emboss them. I'll just place them on here. They don't have to be at a particular angle because it's a swirly pattern. And I'll run those through my cotton bug. I want to add some chipped sapphire, a bit of contrast to the raised portion. So I've got some on my brayer and I'll run those across. I'll run that across rather. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, a little bit grungy is absolutely fine. So now they've got a bit of extra contrast and texture. I don't know about you, but these are screaming candles. So I think we'll just use three and that gives us some white space to keep it clean and simple. And I'll add some matte gel medium to the back and get those stuck on. Press them down with a bit of deli paper and I'll use a black glaze pen to give each one a wick. So these pens dry glossy, they're just gel pens but they do dry glossy and have a tiny bit of dimension to them. And for my flames I'm going to use this leaf die which is a perfect flame shape and cut them out of gold glitter card. I'll stick these down with a bit of matte gel medium, any glue will do. And that can now go on a card blank and get a sentiment. I think I'll do the sentiments when I've decided what I'm going to do with all my bits and bobs. So I'm thinking with this card, I'm going to take these three and create a landing spot for a die cut. Probably something leafy and branchy. I'm going to use this one with the gold glitter again. I do love gold and purples and blues together. There's something very regal and majestic about it. So I've got my leafy branchy thing. I did manage to uh, pull one of the branches off, but we'll fix that. I think it does need something behind it. So a little patch of vellum. So I use that die to cut this vellum and I use my Zyron sticker maker to turn it into a sticker so I can Stick it down without the adhesive showing through. I'm going to stick this down with tacky glue so that it stays where I put it while it's drying. Again, that can go on a card blank with a sentiment. With these ones, I'm going to have them coming in from the top left like that like little bang banners not bangers <laughs> like little banners hanging down and I want to have a small amount of the same ones coming in from the bottom And I think that one could just have a sentiment here somewhere and maybe a few Nouveau drops and that would be enough. It doesn't need a die cut, don't need to be turned into anything. Just having colourful banners like that is enough. For this card, I'm thinking cake and I want another one of these in the small, but I've only got the bit that I chopped off from the last card. I can just tuck that in there. 
tape it in place and then die cut it and it will be the right size. So that's my top tier. And I want a middle tier. Again, this is an off cut from the previous card. And I want it to be about that long. So I will line up this die about there and pop that on there and die cut it. Of course, if you didn't have little rectangle dies like this, you could just cut strips with your trimmer or guillotine or even scissors. I do want to pop these up, give them a little bit of dimension. This is very thin craft foam. It's only about a millimetre thick. So this shouldn't stop the card going through the UK postal system as a regular letter. I'm doing this straight onto a card blank. I'm not putting a panel on this one just for a bit of difference and I will leave a little gap in between each layer and for my candles I'm going to draw with this gold gel pen just some thin candles five of them higgledy piggledy and put the impression of a flame hover hovering above goodness me I can't talk today well, it's very clean, very simple. could be left as is, or you could pop a little birthday sentiment under there, or a celebration sentiment. For this last card, I think this is as much as I'm going to get out of these strips that I've made. I'm working straight on the card blank again, and I'm going to put this across the corner, holding it down with tacky glue just so it doesn't move. Same with this one. I'll chop off the overhang, add a little bit of this one up here. I'm not going to try chopping that off yet, I'm going to wait till it's fully dry. I've got this tiny little bit that came off that one. I'm going to use that across the end there. I want another bit of this and I've got this little scrap left so I'm going to cut another one. It doesn't matter if the ends aren't particularly neat because I'll chop those off. This one can definitely get a die cut and a sentiment. I'll come back to that in a tick. So all I've got left now are those three bits, which I think I can let go. I've got these three, which I'd like to use. And I'm thinking I will just place these on here as architectural pieces. Something structural in this corner. Pop this one up on foam. And then this little one can get a bit of foam and a bit of glue and sit over there like that, I think. And that will get a die cut. I think something bold and a sentiment. I really like the way these are looking right now. I'm going to go and find some sentiments, stick those on, find a couple of die cuts for these two, I think, and come back to you and show you the finished product. Right, I have put the finishing touches to my cards. I've put them all on card blanks now, added sentiments and the occasional die cut. So with this one, I just went for a big, bold, happy birthday stamp in the top corner there. So you've got this diagonal design and the black echoes the black in the flames. So I think that works. With this one, I used Chip Sapphire to stamp a Hello You just here to the left of my design. And I used some glossy accents to add some little blobs onto the ends of the branch. Not sure whether they're leaves or berries, but it doesn't matter. And those have got a lovely bit of gloss and dimension as well as the sparkle from the glitter underneath. For the happy birthday cake, I literally just stamped happy birthday there in chipped sapphire. Could heat emboss that in gold, maybe that would make it stand out a bit more. It is ever so slightly wonky, but hey, it's a handmade card. For this one, I put best wishes in this gap here, and that's chipped sapphire again and then added some gold Nouveau drops to kind of connect it all up together.
For the Thinking of You card, I just kept it super simple with a black Thinking of You in the middle of this. You could jazz that up to your heart's content. You could add some flowers, a butterfly, some drops, some splatters. But I quite like this minimal look on this one. And with this one, I added a gold leafy branch, gold glitter, some gold nouveau drops and a miss you in wilted violet distress oxide. And that's six cards made with the purple violetish backgrounds that I pulled from my box of backgrounds and bits and some simple rectangled eyes. I had a lot of fun putting these together, so I think I will go through my warm orangey yellowy pink bits and my cooler bluey greeny bits and do a couple more videos with these using some different dyes to cut out the basic shapes. Right, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with your scraps and simple dyes. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell and join me for these scrap based videos which will be coming soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.